right, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Justin Hotard. I lead uh, HPE's service provider, Hyperscale, and OEM businesses. Uh, and I uh, appreciate you making the time to be with me today. I'm excited to talk to you a little bit about what, uh, what we're doing at HPE to enable open platforms for our customers um, and, uh, and why we think uh, we're really the right partner for, um, for our customers and for all of you as, we, as you embark on your, on your open journey. So um, let me start a little bit just with, with context or how we think about the market. Fundamentally, what we see happening in the market is the confluence of, of cloud, mobile, digital, the digitization of everything, digital everything, is really driving IT transformation. IT is no longer an operation function. It's either the core of your business or it's a core enabler of your business. And so as we think about what that means for our customers, it, it really means that there's, there's a transformation happening in the market today. Um, you know, first of all, obviously, our, many of our customers from a startup perspective or from a new business perspective in existing companies need to have speed to market. So the idea economy is driving, uh, is driving speed to market of taking an idea and delivering value from it. Um, no longer is a product just a transaction. The whole concept of as a service and how you stay connected and engage and, and deliver, continue to deliver value from your, in, with your customer throughout their life cycle incredibly important. And then, of course, Internet of Things. I mean, for those of you that uh, remember a few years ago, there was a, um, I spent some time in the retail business, and there was a flip where everybody expected every consumer transaction to be an e-commerce transaction or e-commerce-like. And I think that same thing is happening in, in, in IoT. We see that same behavior driving development platforms. Everybody expects their devices to be connected, intelligent, and uh, in driving, uh, driving actionable insights on their own without human intervention. And what that means for us is that for our customer base, the way that they've done business and, the, and for, from an IT standpoint, the way they've done business has to change. And the reason it has to change is they need a lot more flexibility, speed, and scalability. And that's why open is so compelling. Open gives us the opportunity uh, to, to develop platforms, leverage a community, build architectures, implement solutions that are tailored to specific workloads that extract business value, but also have the flexibility to scale and still deliver the SLAs, the TCO, and the customer value. And we do that not just through, through open architecture, but we do it through open APIs, the broader ecosystem of components and, and uh, uh, and, uh, and, and system, system uh, architectures. We do it through, uh, through hyperscale design and implementation. Um, we do it through, uh, through software resiliency right, and how we actually architect and scale these platforms. So from that standpoint, we see open being not, not just an option, but a necessity for many of our customers. And some of these customers are new businesses. Some of these customers are some of our most established and largest largest customers and businesses, all of them are moving to open. But these, different, these differences in open are not, you know, are not fundamentally changing the business needs of what we as a solution provider need to deliver to our customers. We still have to help all of you deliver cost reduction. We have to help you with speed to market. We have to help you drive productivity and efficiency. We have to make sure that your availability and performance is meets your requirements. We have to give you the flexibility to respond to customer demand. And most importantly, we have to help you scale and grow. So when we think about the changes in, the, in, in, the, in this environment, a lot of the foundations of what we serve and support are fundamentally the same as they've been across all of our enterprise. And so as we, as we approach this, one of the things that we're doing at HPE is trying to make sure we take the best of the things that we've been doing for many years across our environment and leverage the ones that apply to make sure that our customers in open have the same successes and greater success even than we've had than we've delivered for customers throughout our throughout our time in, in, in providing solutions in this market. So we're leveraging our leadership, our experience. We've got more than a million customers, 100,000 trusted partners. We've delivered 40 million servers x86 servers to date. 
And we're taking that and applying that innovation, that experience to open. And I think you know, what we've, we've been recognized as a, as a leader, things like our, uh, our dense storage box, which you can see on the, the floor in our booth, uh, the CL5200. But all of that is building and leveraging that experience base, that innovation, that, that core innovation base that we have, and our, our supply chain service and scale. And let's talk a little about open. So while we, well, you may, you may think of us as a legacy company in this space, we're actually really a leader in, in, in open, and we've been here for quite some time. Two years ago, we announced the joint venture with Foxconn to accelerate our entry into this space. Uh, as of today, we shipped over 250,000 units in open, 22 exabytes of, of storage. Uh, we've got the flexibility to deploy at scale. We also have deployed at speed, 26 racks in six hours. Um, our team has been able to respond to specific customer need and, and implement high volume at scale, at speed. Um, and we're supporting open across 13 global supply chain centers. So we've got the ability to deliver open infrastructure anywhere around the world, leveraging our supply base. You've also seen us build on uh, our open our ecosystem approach and, and bring that to open. So we've announced relationships with Mesosphere. We've, uh, we've partnered with Red Hat to, take, uh, to build on NFV. Um, and, uh, and we've continued to build out our open infrastructure portfolio, starting with compute, then to storage, and ultimately to rack scale. And that, is, and that portfolio is really the foundation of our architecture. That portfolio starts with, uh, with CloudLine, our CloudLine platform, the compute platforms, the CL2100, 1U2P, CL2200, 2U2P, the CL3100. We go on to storage where we've got a dense storage box, the CL5200, and then our CL7100 and rack scale design platform. What, you know, what you'll see continue from our perspective is more and more commonality across these platforms, leverage across the platform. We're, we're applying common management tools, open management tools, standard industry BIOS. Um, all, of, all of these are designed with TCO in mind, designed to run at rack or uh, obviously aisle scale. So we've got very large scale, very, very standard and consistent design principles. And that allows us to deliver cost-focused infrastructure foundational features, leveraging the open ecosystem of, um, of, our, of our component partners to give you really any solution you want. As we think about how we're going forward, that's really where we're changing the, the business. So we, when we think about this, we see this not just as a platform business, but really as a complete solution that we can deliver. And that starts with the components that we offer We've got a, a broad array of components we can offer on, on our platforms. Then we can, we can deliver the, the right platform to fit your, your actual workload needs. We'll actually integrate that into systems. We, can, we do that either on a, on a workload optimized basis for tailored to your implementation, or we actually have industry standard reference architectures across some of the more common workloads we see on open. Uh, we can also deliver um, we can also deliver an ecosystem of software partners to help you help you complete your solution, uh, and ultimately, then we can we can wrap all of that in services. And what's what we believe is really compelling about this for all of you is that you can you can actually get exactly the the specific solution you need at the right value at the right performance running the right TCO with the right availability, leveraging all of the benefits of an open ecosystem. And I think that's really, when we think about open, that's where we see the power and the impact of open is while there's a lot of, there's a lot of breadth of availability, when it narrows down to what, you, what you're running on your workload in, in your data centers, whether that's one data center or 100 data centers around the world, we can bring we can bring every piece of that uh, every piece of that infrastructure and that solution to you in exactly the manner you need. Whether it's a parts depot from a service standpoint at your core data center, or full turnkey service and support at a remote 
at a remote facility, we'll tailor that, that solution to make sure it's exactly what you need. And obviously that applies whether we're at the top on services or all the way down to making sure you've got the, the right performant components built into your system to integrate that system into, into a tailored solution for your workload that runs at the, that runs at the right performance metric, the right TCO. So as we think about this architecture, for us, this is really the foundation of where we see HPE being able to bring a lot of value and capability to all of you and to the market. I mentioned software partners. We actually have a very broad array of software partners. Some of these partners have worked with us for years in our traditional infrastructure environment, and many of them are working with us on both, on both environments as we, as we build out an open ecosystem. And the benefit for us is, and the benefit for you, is really that we, we can tune our platforms, we can test our platforms more comprehensively, uh, we can make sure that they're workload optimized, and we can ensure that top to bottom, you've, when you deploy your stack, whatever tools you need, whatever tools you choose to use, are optimized on our platforms. So as we, as we look at the ecosystem, we see this as a foundational part of being able to deliver a compelling open solution into the market. So finally, let me spend a little bit of time on how we can help. I talked a lot about the different attributes of what we're driving. Ultimately, our industry leadership, I mentioned this before, over a million server, over 40 million servers shipped, million customers. We have broad experience, global reach, and we can, and, and that applies when you're running one, you know, one data center or 100 data centers. Cost and TCO, we understand that you know, cost is an important element in open, but saving cost and not having the proper, the proper TCO equation doesn't ultimately help you meet your business objectives. So as our architects spend time with you in designing and architecting a solution, making sure we balance the cost and TCO equation is something we have a lot of experience doing with our customers. Our supply chain, we are, we are one of the largest buyers of components in this industry. Uh, we continue to be one of the largest buyers and leveraging that scale, uh, leveraging those relationships, and really leveraging a, uh, an ecosystem that we've worked in for many years, bringing, uh, bringing those relationships to bear. It's, it's actually very similar to how we've had success in our industry uh, in the past. It's just in a different environment with open. And so we're working with all of those same partners and customers to make sure that you're getting exactly what you need when you need it. And it performs, and I think this moves on obviously to quality, performs reliably at runtime for as long as you need it. And so quality is really a foundation for us. It's a place where we feel we're differentiated in the market. We continue to, to focus on it, even on our, you know, across our platforms, inclusive of open. This is a place where um, you know, we, will, we are committed to making sure we have industry leading quality. We've demonstrated in terms of our performance in this space. And we're, uh, you know, we're, we're continuing to work at it to make sure that when you deploy an HPE open solution, you've got the best quality, the best performance in the industry. Security, uh, obviously one of the concerns as you move to open is security. Uh, making sure that you've got the features, the capability, and the, and the infrastructure and the solutions and the latest, and access to, make sure, access to the latest updates is something we do proactively with all of our customers in this space to make sure that security is mitigated in your platform. Service and support, I mentioned this, but again, global reach, 120 countries. We can support you on a broad basis and in whatever manner meets your business needs in any of those environments. And then our portfolio. We talked a lot about our portfolio for open, but our portfolio extends beyond open. And we actually have customers that run both. They run open and they run more traditional infrastructure. The benefit of our portfolio is we can tailor every, exactly what you need across all of those environments. So we can fit, whether it's a legacy uh, Unix environment to 
to the most current open architecture, we can support you across that journey and make sure that you're getting exactly what you need at the right performance, the right TCO, and the right availability. And finally, IP and roadmap. We continue to invest in IP across our platforms. We bring that into, the, into, this, uh, into these products and these solutions. And we think that, you know, we think that while open, uh, open systems leverage, obviously, the open ecosystem, we believe that there's a lot we can continue to contribute and will continue to contribute in IP uh, and innovation in terms of our platforms, our architectures, and our systems. And so we're going to we'll continue to invest and bring IP uh, into into this part of the uh, of our portfolio and continue to help you scale and drive TCO. So a few things. One is um, what you know. What can you do in terms of next steps? One is come spend time with our team here at uh, here at OCP booth A6. Uh, come see our platforms and products. We're excited to talk to you about them, share a little bit about our, our expertise, and, uh, uh, and you know, really, really use that as an opportunity to, to let us understand a little bit about your needs and what you're doing, uh, and, uh, and see how we can be helpful. Secondarily, um, if you have an HPE rep, talk to them about open. They're, they're actually your first landing spot. If you actually have an HPE rep today, Make sure you talk to them about open. We're eager to talk to, um, you know, to talk to you. Our reps are ready to talk to you about open, and we'll continue to support um, all of those opportunities. So, make sure you engage with your rep. If you don't, if you don't see us today, please talk to your rep at, uh, about open. Um, and, uh, you know, and lastly, I'll, I'm happy to take some questions if, uh, because I think there is a little bit of time. So I'm happy to take a few minutes and answer any questions that uh, anyone might have. And I think at the end, we have, a, we have a raffle for a Chromebook as well. So are there any questions? Uh, in the area of networking, uh, what do you see as, uh, as your opportunities and challenges? Right now? And the whole gamut of networking from within the data center, data center interconnect, wide area network, premises networks, et cetera. So we have a, we have a pretty broad portfolio in that space, right? I think we, um, we have an open product called Alta Line, which integrates into our, into our environment. Obviously, we're, uh, we have a partnership with Arista today. And uh, you know, we, we believe that, that um, the benefit of that is we can drive even, you know, even tighter integration and solutions across our, uh, across our platforms as we think about optimizing workloads. Um, and ultimately, uh, you know, ultimately, where we see the opportunity there is uh, is to have very, very performance solutions that address a lot of the, you know, a lot of the needs of our customers in the space. And then obviously as you get out into, uh, you know, campus and edge, we've got a very broad portfolio with Aruba. Um, what about 3Com? Three, so 3Com, we still, we still sell solutions today, the Comware platform in our traditional environments. Um, we see those in data center. We have some of those in, Campus and Edge today as well, um, so that portfolio continues to be supported. Any other questions? All right. This is for the. What am I raffling off? A Chromebook and a. And a Titan watch. Okay. So first one's B five seven one five nine four. <laughs> We've got a winner. Okay. And then a Titan watch. Okay. All right. And then B571570. B571570. Great. All right. Thank you very much, everybody.